Yeah, hi everyone. So this is the uh, part one of the uh, number of videos that I'll be creating on how to write uh, schemas in Sanity. So as we all know, Sanity is a headless CMS where headless means it has no presentation layer. So in Sanity, we can keep only the data and uh, the data can be fetched or sourced into any device, maybe on a web application or on some uh, mobile app or some other devices uh, using some APIs. So another thing is how do we keep the data uh, in insanity? Uh, either we just dump it or we can uh, keep it in some structure. So uh, if we we can relate it with uh, our databases where uh, in a database we we create tables and we uh, each table has a meaning. So like and for multiple tables we create uh, relations uh, let's say for a user uh, for a user we have a table but for user address we create another table for user uh, contact information or phone numbers we create another table then we relate them together so something similar we can uh, think of uh, in sanity where uh, we have we don't have table but we have uh, uh, a collection of documents where each document can be considered as a row. So in a schema, we basically define the structure of uh, the data that uh, it will hold. So a schema does not have data, it will just define the structure of uh, the document or the data that it will hold, what all fields it will have, uh, and uh, uh, what kind of field it is, uh, and you can add validations, and uh, many things, many more things you can do. So uh in in this series of video we will be creating a small project so i'll just uh, go over uh, the project that we'll be building so i have uh, thought of building a recipe uh, project where we will be having uh, like in a recipe like in a recipe what all things we need we need um, a title of the recipe then we need uh, the instructions how to build it how to cook it then the calorie information, then preparation time, servings, vegetarian, image, uh, ingredients, meal type. So a lot of things we require. So uh, it's not, now we will not be putting all the data in just one uh, one document. We will be building relations, uh, references. So like uh, we will have a unit uh, that is for different units. Uh, similarly, we'll have a for cuisine. Then we have multiple ingredients. Uh, similarly, the meal type and a basic information of a uh, chef uh, just to add some more components that i thought we can make so and then we will be uh, referencing all of these inside uh, the recipe uh, schema and then in the end once we have built it uh, we will see how we can query it uh, this is a graph query so unless we can query the uh, data correctly uh, writing schemas is of no use so we will be uh, in the end we'll see how we can uh, query our data and uh, get the data in exact the same structure that we want so uh, we'll start writing schemas from the next video thank you